Good evening. I'm Jocelyn Silverman, President of University Synagogue Board of Trustees. It is my pleasure to introduce those who are sitting on the BEMA with us this evening. My husband, Paul Silverman, Gary Schoenfeld, Michelle Schoenfeld, Jill Chosen, Alan Chosen, Rabbi Feinstein, Cantor Freilich, Linda Kaplan, Don Kaplan, Deborah Price, Alan Golad, Harvey Fine, and Beef, and Mara Fine, sorry. Shana Tova. When we wish each other Shana Tova, we are extending our greetings for a good year. Yet the Hebrew word Shana, Shin, Nun, He has other meanings as well. This root in its noun form denotes a year of repetition, of relearning all the old lessons and values that our tradition has been teaching us for many centuries. In addition, the root Shin, Nun, He also comes in the verb form, lishanot, to change. In essence, a shana tova, a good year, is a year of lishanot, of change, of doing things differently and better. Shana is a unique word that actually ties together the best of our past, the parts that should be repeated, with a hope for a change for the future. As we celebrate University Synagogue's 70th anniversary, let us take a short trip down memory lane to learn how our synagogue has changed for the better over the past seven decades with what our hopes and dreams are for the future. The year was 1943. For most of you, the mere mention of the year brings back painful memories. For others, we learn about World War II and the Holocaust, either in religious school and or in secular school. We remember the stories we have heard over and over and over again and never tiring of, for we know that these are the stories that are told to be repeated. This is a part of our history. This is who we are. By passing these stories down from generation to generation, we are linking the past to our future in the hopes that this never happens again and that we are making a better life for ourselves and those that will follow. Yet during this horrific time, 70 years ago, a visionary group of individuals, our founders, felt the need and desire to create a synagogue on the west side, a place for people to pray, to study, and to gather in good times and bad for better or for worse. Thus, University Synagogue was established, and through it all, friendships were made and a void in the community was filled. The history of how University Synagogue came to be in this location is one that spans from the time the original families would meet at a local YMCA, and then in a church, and then in a home that used to be a church, and finally, almost 13 years later, University Synagogue had its first official service right here. Even though the building was simply a shell with a portable ark and folding chairs, this did not stop members from seeking, to join, from seeking out to join the temple. The temple has gone through many transformations since its first inception. The most obvious is the structure. What started out as a 3,300 square foot building is now approximately 5,600 square feet. Over time, Unity and Junior Unity youth groups were formed. Sisterhood created, a preschool and religious school were established. Many auxiliary groups were created to keep members engaged and involved. Membership was thriving and roots were being established. Life was good at University Synagogue. The 1960s brought about an uncertain time in history and unfortunately a very uncertain time at University Synagogue. But with new programming, strategic planning, a renewed level in faith and religion, as well as new spiritual leaders, University Synagogue was able to bounce back and thrive once again, changing for the better. Taking the best of our past to the present is how we are able to continue to meet the needs of the community and the congregation. Changes in clergy and lay leaders have challenged us to make a better place for future generations. In recent years, the Joshua Project was created to help transform the synagogue, to get members to re-engage in all the temple has to offer. The three-part series, Do You Believe in God?, provided a way for members to explore their personal beliefs in God. A revitalized Havara program was established to fulfill the needs of the members as a way to connect families, couples, 
individuals and be a part of a larger community. A new structure to our Saturday services now offers five different ways we can pray. Come and enjoy our Minion service, which is a lively and spiritual guide to our prayer experience. Our healing service allows us to come together to explore the prayer, various prayers of healing. Tiny Tefila was established for our families with young children to come together to pray, learn, and sing in a service. Come and explore at our Learner's Minion the how, what, when, where, and why of prayer. The meditation, teaches, meditation service teaches us the ancient Jewish forms of meditation through prayer. And the congregational trip to Israel provided a way to connect our synagogue life with the land of our ancestors. All these current projects, programs, and services, like many others in the past, were created to enrich and engage and fulfill the needs of our congregants. In these current times of financial uncertainty, we are again facing a challenging time. Yet by taking the best from the past, we'll forge forward and make a better place for the future. With these new successful additions to our programming, University Synagogue has exceeded its expectations of what the future has brought and will continue to bring. We exist today and are able to participate in the services tonight because of those who bravely charted this congregation 70 years ago. They joined together to provide a house of worship, a house of learning, and a house of assembly here in Brentwood. As time went on, no matter what challenges have existed, our synagogue has been strengthened because the con congregation persevered. It is up to us to maintain the integrity of those who founded University Synagogue so long ago and continue to provide the best of the present for future generations. We all have a stake in maintaining our temple as a place in which Judaism is fostered and maintained. Let this new year be a Shana Tova, a good year, a year of Lashanot, of change, of doing things differently and better. Shana Tova.